Hi everyone, welcome back to my uh, channel and this is um, your mask guy on the screen and today we're going to have another another rare review of my uh, collection and just to give you an idea um, about this one so it is um, actually a traditional uh, Japanese underwear uh, by men uh, just worn before the world war and now it's uh, being just used during a festival in Jap Japan so yeah, so this is uh, if you have an idea so this is uh, what they call the fundoshi underwear. So yeah, uh, stay tuned for that. And before that, I'm just gonna give a quick shout out to all my subscribers. We have now reached 257 subscribers. So please keep sharing uh, my YouTube channel until we can reach uh, 1,000 subscribers. All right, so yeah, let's start now. Let's see. All right, so for our first. Uh, Fundoshi underwear and is this one. So this is uh, from GX3 and it's uh, yeah, this is what it looks like. So it's uh, made of uh, actually a, a cotton, pure cotton, and it has this uh, letter G and this outfit is something like that. So it's really a G's uh, thing type underwear. And inside is this plenty like this. So um, this I forgot, I think this is a small one. Yeah, this is a the tag has already been removed, so let's see. It's right now. Let's see. All right, so yeah, this how it's like me. It's uh, actually I'm not. I don't usually wear this um, every day or quite often. And I just uh, thought that I have a collection of fundoshi, so why not uh, give it a review? So yeah, it's uh, feels like you're not wearing anything actually because it's really just covering your um, tool. And at the back, it's just a string, so it's very. It's very light, it's very fresh. So, yeah. What do you think of my fundoshi? Okay, so for our second one is this black color fundoshi. So it's similar uh, with the beige one, it's just a uh, different in color. Just this is a black one with a silver letter G so design here. So this is also from GX3. GX3, so hope you're watching and you can sponsor me of uh, your underwear. So, doesn't have also a tag, so I believe it's also a small one. So okay, let's see what um which one or which color best suits me. This if it's the, the black this black one or the cream one. Alright, so uh, let's try it now. Okay, so alright, so this is the black one. And I think black one is more sexy, right? It's uh, a classic one. So if ever I go to the Japan and have some join or watch their uh, festival, I might I might use this one. Oof. For our third um, underwear is this colorful one, this blue blue this blue underwear or fundoshi one. So from Jextra as well. So this one it still have a tag here, so pretty new. So the size of this is um, small to medium, and this is uh, this is not a cotton type, and it's made of a polyester and polyurethane so 80 percent 87 percent polyester and 13 percent of polyurethane so yeah so this is not a cotton uh, type compared to the first two so it's like a elastic one but basically the design is the same from the traditional ones so it's just uh, covering your just this one and then inside there's nothing much it's just pretty straight so yeah let's try it now and see so let's try this now and see all right so yeah so this one, um, I feel it's more um, soft, softer to use because of the maybe because of the material of uh, polyester compared to the cotton one. And I also like the color and the design of this blue, like a blue wavy like Japanese type. And it's also it's not that tight. It's the, the fit is also uh, perfect for me. Alright, so for our fourth um, Kundoshi underwear is this uh, plain black one from GX3. So it's also the same size uh, for Japan, small to medium. And for US, it's uh, extra small to small. And it's also the same material, which is 86% um, of polyester and 14% of polyurethane. So if you want, if you want some plain of black or the black color with a white and white and black string, so you might this one is perfect for you. So, alright, let's try it now and see.
Okay, so oh, so this is how it looks like now. Plain black. Still sexy. You know, sometimes um black really gives a classic design or classic approach to all the uh, accessories or undergarments. So yeah. If you like black and you want to feel sexy, you might try to get this one. Alright, and for our last uh, underwear, Fundoshi underwear, is this uh, white and uh, navy blue Fundoshi from JX3. So it has this, uh, they have this design like a window, what do you call this? Window with circles, I don't know. Okay, and um, this material is also uh, polyester and polyurethane. Okay, but um, strange uh, design is this uh, inside, it has this, I don't know, I think this is uh, like a copper ring, copper ring one. I also don't know what's the purpose of this, so maybe, yeah, this is where you can put your, you know, your balls as well as your penis inside, so maybe. So yeah, this is how it looks like. So, I'm gonna try to put this, you know, uh, put my up here inside and that. Yeah, let's see. Okay, let's try it now. Alright. So, I actually... I'll uh, put my uh, my tool on that um, ring inside, so it's actually quite uh, uncomfortable. I'm not sure if that's how you that's how you're supposed to use this one. <laughs> I have no idea, but um, yeah, it's quite uncomfortable. To be honest, because uh, the back is too too low, or I don't know if it's really that is the purpose of this one. But yeah, what do you think? Is it just the irony? But I love the, the design though. Alright, so yeah, that's all for all the Fundoshi collections that I have. And for me, the if I'm going to pick one, I'm gonna pick this the first one, which is the because this is more of a really um, traditional one, which is because it's made up of uh, cotton or cloth material. So it, I think this is more uh, authentic and or more uh, traditional of Fundoshi. And it really feel like you're not wearing anything. So I. I'm not sure if that's really the purpose of wearing this one. So yeah, I also, I also like the design. It's, it's uh, very minimalist. And yeah, the color of uh, beige and black and that string really complements each other. So yeah, what do you think guys? Which one is uh, the best for me? So comment down below. Alright, so that's all for now for today. And I hope you guys enjoyed uh, watching my uh, collection or showing off my Fundoshi underwear. And I hope to see you again uh, next week for another um, review of my underwear. Or maybe I'm gonna show you another work out or behind the so let's see so yeah so please do share on my youtube channel and i appreciate your support in this one all right so yeah see you again next week and have a good day everyone bye